In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for NaO2, sodium peroxide. This one's a little bit different because this is what's called a superoxide, and we'll see why in a minute. As we look down our list of rules, we can see that group one, sodium's in group one, so sodium's gonna have a plus one oxidation number. Oxygen's almost always minus two, except in the case of peroxides. So it's not going to be minus two here, so we're gonna have to figure it out based on this rule here, that in a neutral compound, all the oxidation number is gonna add up to zero. So the only way these two oxygens are gonna add up to zero is if we multiply them by negative one half. So two times minus one half, and all of these will add up to zero. And that's why it's a superoxide. It has a minus one half oxidation number on the oxygen. So to recap, we found the one that we knew, the sodium, which is always plus one because it's in group one right here. And then we use this rule that in a neutral compound, they'll all add up to zero to figure out the oxidation number on each oxygen here. Each oxygen is negative one half. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.